be here. It's good yeah. to be home. Yeah. Yeah. I feel at home here. I don't feel like a stranger. You are. Yeah. I feel like I have a come to see my brother. Yeah. yeah. Come to see my sister. Yeah. Come yeah. to see my father, my mother. Yeah. yeah. I just appreciate being here tonight. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Feel the precious gift of like the God. Holy Ghost. Yeah. Lord, uh, yeah. We have been so uh, the Amen. blessed and had and, uh, yeah. the Lord uh, giving us a chance to go in a different direction than what our lives were. But it even Amen. said we were on a road one time. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, we was on the wrong road. But yeah. thank God that he called us. Thank God that yeah. the Lord talked to us yeah. and called us out Come and on, set brother. us apart. Yeah. Right. And then here we are tonight with a chance to worship and serve God. Yeah. Yeah. Do you realize, according to the numbers of this world, that we are in the according to the number of this world, and according to the church, that, uh, the size of the churches, how blessed that we are yes, that yeah. God, Brother Don, has yeah. called us oh. out of that dark world right. into this life. Yes. So Amen, I, I appreciate it, don't yes. you? Yes. Hey, I think Brother Marlon was speaking today on Come the on. church. Come on, brother. Yeah. There's a church coming forth. Amen. And I want to be a part of that church. Yes. Amen. That's why I'm yeah. here. I want, I want to get something Amen. from my soul. Yeah. Oh, Amen. I'm here because Bless I love yeah. the Word of God. I love the people of God, on, and I love the Spirit of God. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, we cannot, we cannot do this on our own. No, we cannot do it. This on is not a mind over matter thing. That I'm oh. going to say, well, I'm going to overcome this today. You cannot do it that way. I thought it's taken. A, Brother Dean said. It's taken a lifetime, Brother Dean, Amen. for yeah. us to get to the place where we are tonight. Amen. And, and uh, I feel like I've come up short many times. So I haven't uh, come to the place Amen. where I want to be. No, you know Amen. the place that I want to be? I want to be an overcome. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I want to rise yeah. above the, all Amen. these feelings yeah. inside of this place. Amen. Amen. They'll drag Amen. us down and keep yeah. us from yeah. the presence of oh, God. Yeah. I'm yeah. tired of letting that that uh, nature, Amen. that outward man dragged me down. Paul right. spoke of the outward man and an inward man. Right. He talked about the old man and the new man. Right. Yeah. And it, it's, it's the same, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The outward man yeah. is the one that we, uh, we feed, yes. we bathe, yes. we take care of. Yes. But you know, sometimes the inward man, the inward yeah. well, I need a bath once in a while. Yes, we yeah. do. Yeah. I need something to eat. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah. I need something to drink, Brother Lonnie. Yes, it yeah. would uh, help me grow. In yeah. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. I'm not here tonight yeah. because, uh, uh, you know, of any any uh, motives or anything. I'm here to get something from my soul. Yeah. Yeah. And I already yeah. have something. Yeah. Praise God. Today was yeah. just a marvel when the, and the uh, singers began to sing. Yeah. I yeah. felt that Holy Ghost oh, come down. Yeah. Yeah. As you were singing, uh, oh God, it's worth the trip. Oh, yeah. It's worth it all, brother. Yeah. I thought, uh, we travel in this world, yeah. we, we see the defeating the flesh. Yeah. See, look, look at in the, uh, New York, Kansas City, they're playing a World Series. Yeah. Yeah. Those people travel all over all right. to go to that ball game. Right. They spend Money. thousands of dollars for yeah. a ticket. <laughs> Thousands of dollars. Yes, they are. They're feeding their flesh. Hello, right. They are feeding the desires yeah. of their heart. Yeah. But oh God, how much will we spend tonight to feel that presence of God and the Holy Ghost come down upon us yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and the healing for our souls? And Brother Marla, I'm so looking forward to when the church comes into existence comes to a place where the blinded eyes will be healed. Yes. I want to yes. see Brother Randy right. yes. we were on the yes. phone the other day. Yes. Brother Randy said, Brother Richard, have you ever seen an angel? Yes. I said, no, but I want to. He said, we had one visit. <laughs> they had an angelic being visit. Do you really believe that? I absolutely yes. believe yes. that. All right. yes. I believe that, and I believe that Sister uh, Sean, before this is all over, yes. I'm going to see an angel. I I'm going to see great myself. miracles. Why? Yeah. Because the church is coming into existence. Yeah. The church is uh, coming up higher. Yeah. We're not going to stay the same yeah. way we've always been. We're not going to stay on the, in the outer, Amen. in the courts. 
But I thought we were going to move on in, Brother Marlon. Amen. Amen. To that holy place. In the holy where we can uh, feed on the things of God. Amen. We can worship Him and Amen. praise Him Amen. in spirit Amen. and in truth. Amen. The Bible said, uh, the scripture said that uh, no man can come unto me yes. but this, except for the spirit of my Father draw them. Right. We have to be in the spirit of our Father. Yes. We have to. We can't do this, as I said, on our own. But we have to move into a place in God where we, when we feel the Holy Ghost, Amen. Uh, when you feel that presence, that spirit, and it moves on a gift of these brethren right. of the ministry, right. they come out and lay hands on you, we will be in order. Right. Amen. But it won't be one of these things where we all, oh, I, I feel compassion on somebody. Right. Yes. It, it's true, we do feel compassion yes. for one another. Yes. But when the Holy Ghost moves, yes. on, and you go out and lay hands on in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you go out and lay hands on the people. Yes. When uh, when Peter was walking there, yeah, uh, uh, on the day of uh, Pentecost, yes. right after that, right. and he was uh, he run out, and there was a leper or a uh, uh, lame man, rather, right. and his shadow passed over that lame man, yes. and that lame man was healed. Yes, amen. Do you think for one minute that Peter did that? No, no. Peter, it was impossible for he, he was just a man as we are. He was just flesh and blood as we are. But when the Holy Ghost moves on, Amen. when the Holy Ghost covers a man, Amen. when the Holy Ghost tells a man to do Amen. something, and the man does it, then God gets the glory. It's not the man. We cannot heal anyone. We cannot bring anyone. We can't forgive sins. No. Like you can't forgive me of my sin. No. You can help me come to a place in God. You can talk to me. You can teach me. You can tell me the word of God. You can help me, yeah. but it takes God, doesn't it? Yeah. It takes the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ yeah. to forgive us of that it sin. When we go to him and we uh, uh, touch him, we uh, touch his garment, and uh, that we can touch it and feel that healing virtue, leave us unto the Lord. I thought, the Lord does the work. Amen. It's not us. Amen. It's not my, uh, my uh, power, nor my might, but it's by my spirit, saith the Lord. Be done in the spirit, the spirit of God. And when we feel that spirit, let's don't just sit, but when you feel that spirit, contact the Lord, begin to pray. Is there someone in, in the assembly that needs a touch from the Holy Ghost? Maybe there's someone that needs to be saved. You know, Brother Marlowe's a wise man. But he doesn't know everything. He doesn't know every situation. But you know, with him being in the spirit, and then when the Lord talks to him and touches that, that gift of his, then he goes out and lays hands on the people, and the people receive the things that they have need of. Amen. It's all done by the spirit. It's not by our our. Uh, uh, anything that we've done, nothing by anything that we have uh, 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 accomplished. But I thought, oh God, Amen. to work in the Spirit and to walk in the Spirit and to dwell in the Spirit, uh, the church has to come to that place. See, uh, when we set back, you know, and, and we uh, we uh, sometimes you know the flesh, as I said long well, no. ago, the flesh, that outward man, gets weak. And he said, well. Let Brother Don do it tonight. Yes. Or let Brother, uh, let Brother Lonnie do it tonight. Let someone else do it tonight. When the Holy Ghost touches you, it's your job. Amen. When the Holy Ghost touches you to talk to your brother or your sister yeah. and encourage your brother or sister, yeah. then move. Yeah. And then the Holy Ghost will begin to come in the church in a greater way. Amen. The church has to change. Amen. Yeah. The churches have to change. We've been doing this a long time. I remember Brother Marlow when I was 12 years old on the Shepherdsville uh, camp meeting. Yes. At the, uh, in the camp meeting. And, you know, he would preach the house down. Because his gift, God gave this man a gift. God has given these other brother gifts. He has dispersed the gifts. But, you know, sometimes I'm, uh, I'm not criticizing no one because... None of us have been perfect. We're still learning. We haven't been in the church yet. We haven't been to a place where the latter rain church is restored yet. But we're getting ready. We're trying to make ourselves ready to receive the things that God has for us. Amen. We're, we're, uh, our minds, see, it wasn't time back 
in that day when I uh, first met Brother Marlowe to restore the church. Uh, it wasn't time that the latter rain church would be fulfilled, but we're living in the time of the rain. Amen. And there's an abundance of rain Amen. coming to the church. Amen. And we might as well expect it. If we don't expect it, we don't look for it, Amen. we'll never see it. Right. But I thought, oh God, I want to look for it. Don't Amen. Amen. I want to hear the rain. I want to smell the rain. Uh, for miles and when it begins to rain was up I lived up uh, in the uh, Midwest I was born and raised there and uh, my grandfather had a big farm up there when that rain would begin to come he said it's going to rain yeah. I said how do you know it's going to rain yeah. he said I can smell it well, yeah. he said I can feel it in the air amen yeah, yeah. you feel something oh. in the air. Yeah. Yeah. you feel that stirring the, oh. Oh. Yeah. If the holy ghost yeah. if there's a coming yeah. rain yeah. Yes. He said there's going to be an abundance of rain abundance. in the time of the latter rain. Amen. Yes. And I thought the church is getting ready for that Amen. rain because it's coming. It, the church Amen. is going to be blessed. It's going to be uh, full. And I thought we've heard these, this teaching Amen. for years and years. Brother uh, Dean mentioned a while ago again about, uh, about the things that's being fulfilled out here in the natural elements. We know that we're living in perilous times. Yes, yes. All you have to do, you know, for a while that Jesus said, they asked the Lord, they said, Lord, will, when will it be when uh, you're coming? Yes. And he said, watch. He said, watch. watch. You know, I, I've read those scriptures and read them through the years. Mm -hmm. I thought, what are we supposed to watch for? What are we looking for? Yes. But you know, when God opens up your understanding, yes. what to look for and what to watch, Amen, brother. we see it happening. Out here right now. You see it now. We see it. When you see, you see it now. when you see the Christi the Christian Amen. being persecuted. Yes. When you see the ungodly element rising up in the, in the name of religion. Amen. And uh, and killing one another and torching one another. Amen. And uh, we see the things coming in this world. Amen. We see the governments of uh, our great country, the governments of this country. Have gone down. Yes. We have, uh, we haven't progressed. No. We haven't went forward, but we have the went the opposite person. way. The way. Yeah. And and then there's a there's a stir in the air. There's a there's a uh, uh, the, the Holy Ghost is letting God's children realize that there is a movement taking Amen. place. And he's making a change. Amen. The Lord is changing the church. Amen. Yes. And uh, in changing that, uh, he, it's going to be right along with his word. Lord, he right. said, watch. We should be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. We should be watching. We should be looking for the Amen. Lord's coming. Yes. Because I believe he's coming back again. Yes. I believe he's coming back again. Yes. And for the scripture said, the bride has made herself ready. Yes. It's time. It's not time to sleep. Amen. It's not time to slumber. No. It's not time to back off. No. But it's time to press forward yes. and do what God wants us to do. It's time to go. Let the Holy Ghost be us. It's time to go. Because it is a mind over man. But when you feel that stir, the Holy Spirit begin to uh, deal with us, begin to work with us. Let's move. Let's still keep sitting. Let's just, uh, you know, so why sit we here uh, to die? Yeah, why well, we sit here just to die? Brother, well, well, it's not any time to die right now. It, it really is not. And, 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 and Brother Marlowe is, uh, is a leader. Amen. I'm not yes. blowing him up. I'm not lifting up his flesh. Amen. But I'm stirring up that which is inside of him. Amen. See, we know better than to, uh, to uh, uh, raise one another up, Brother Lonnie. Yes, that's we do. the flesh. Right. But yes, when you do. are saying it through the spirit, through the inner man, Brother Pete, and yes. you feel that. See, I feel this yes. when I'm saying this. Yes. Praise it's God. not something that's coming out of my head, but I feel it down in my heart. Amen. They're going to stir to warn the people. Yes. Yes. Because the watchmen are to warn the people. Yes. Yes. Let's yes. warn the people that the time yes. is coming. Yes. There's something yes. coming. The storms are coming yes. to the people, to the church. And said, uh, we need to make ourselves ready yes. for the Lord's coming. Yes. We need to prepare ourselves. Yes. Well, how do we do that? We begin to eat. We begin to listen. Yes. We begin to drink. 
and feed that inward man. Yes. See, when we get hungry, we broke long ago. We, we took a break. I went home and, and had a, a good meal with my daughter. And uh, I went to her house. It wasn't my home. It was her home. And uh, and then we, uh, we we prepare ourselves. See, it, it took a little bit while today to prepare myself to come here. It took uh, it took some time. I began to pray. I began to I began to cleanse this outward man. I began to take care of it. I ate this morning and fed it. All right. What about the inward man? Come on, Are we taking yeah. care of the inward man? Come on, brother. What about that? Uh, what about that uh, old man? See, we put all the emphasis on the old man. But there's a new man within us. There's a new man within us. And we should strive to reach that uh, that glory of God and feel that precious Holy Ghost. And, and you know, Brother Mark, sometimes I'm guilty of just sitting there when I'd like to just leap out of the chair and begin to praise God and worship God. Oh, how many times have we just held back? Are you going to think I'm nuts? Or are you going to think I'm you know, far out? I don't care anymore. You know, because I want to feel God. Yes, amen. I want to feel the Lord. Yes, I want to feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Yeah. That's it. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can um, feel the Lord. Amen. We can touch the Lord. Amen. And regardless of who's it, if we Amen. can't, if we can't run Amen. with the footman, what are we going to do? Amen. Amen. We need to move on. Oh, we, they, these are the footmen. You love me. I know you love me because you, you, you know we, we embrace, we shake hands. Yeah. And, I, you know, you tell me you miss me. I miss you. I miss this church. Yes. This is a wonderful oh, church. Yes. This church, you know, when, when we were sitting there, all the music, all the singers, all the brethren, the preachers, Brother Marlon leading the church, it's a wonderful place. Amen. It's a wonderful yeah. place. Amen. You, you have a, you know, you, sometimes you don't miss the water until it runs dry, you know, as the old saying. And I miss the, I miss this church. And we miss you. And I'm looking and we forward. We miss you. Sister Amen. Amen. I'm looking forward to something Amen. great. Amen. Something Amen. great to happen. Amen. It's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. We've, it's been prophesied. It's in the scriptures. It's in the, because we have also fed that inner man, the word of God, by listening to these preachers, by listening to these teachers, by listening to these Men that have uh, used their gifts and fed us to where we actually these churches that we've uh, affiliated with were actually made the people fat with the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. And our soul's been fat, Brother Lonnie, but yeah. now it's time to exercise. Amen. You feed the old man enough on the outward man, you can become mm -hmm. fat, don't you? Yeah. Well, you got to exercise kind of to take off them pounds. Yeah. Well, we need to exercise ourselves unto godliness. Amen. We need to ex ourselves, exercise ourselves. Uh, to uh, to lift a church and to help the church, not to put down the church. That's that there again. That's the old man. Isn't it? If I talk about my brother, you know, the, uh, brother Don, brother Lonnie, you know, any of the rest of them. If I'm talking about them, I'm exercising, but I'm exercising unto the carnal thing. Amen. You see my point where we yeah. have to put down the carnal, carnal thing. Amen. And, and uh, the church will begin to change. Amen. Believe me, there's great things in store. Amen. We read in the scripture, look at them, read that book of Acts. Go home and read the book of Acts. About that early church, Hallelujah. how it operated, how God blessed it, yes. how God uh, uh, was with them, with the brother. Amen. And then look at the great things that happened, that happened and it wasn't their ability. Amen. It was God's Holy Spirit using Amen. their gift. Yeah. It was a gift of God that we, that they were using in that early church. Amen. All right, that's where we have to come to. That's where we have to change. Amen. We cannot do this thing on our own any longer. Amen. But when we begin to lift our hands yeah. in all sincerity and praise the Lord, yeah. lift up the name of the Lord and say, Jesus, Lord, I need you tonight. Lord, I need to feel your presence and your spirit. Oh, God, let me feel. Let me dwell in your presence, oh, God. And let me feel that, uh, that strength that comes from you. And then uh, Brother Dean said, uh, he laid there when the Lord talked to him. 
I, I, just the other night, Brother Dean, I want to tell this, that I was laying in my bed. It was about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. And just like somebody shook me, Brother, brother Lock, I haven't been dealt that way, you know, in, in, in the past two months. But just like he shook me. And when he shook me, I, I just opened my eyes and I knew it was the Lord immediately because I could feel, such as shown the presence of the Holy Ghost. See, I could feel his spirit. I could feel his presence. When we're close to the Lord, when we get that way, when we get close and begin to answer Him, begin to do what He's asking us to do, draw nigh to me and I will draw nigh to you. We have to draw close to the Lord in order to feel the presence of God. But the church is changing. We can't stay where we're at. But he said, you know, somebody said, mentioned Caleb and Joshua. We can take the land. Yeah, we, we can take the land if God gives us the land. Yeah, and he's asking us to take the land. Yeah, what do you say? Let's, let's go on and press on in. Yeah. Let's go into the spirit of God. Yeah, Lord, Lord. Let's move the church yeah, Lord, in, a, in a different way, Brother Marl. Let's change the church. Yeah, you know, we can't change it, but I mean, when the, when the Lord begins to change, yes, let's, let's change. move to change. Yes, so yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to sit here in my spirit. Yeah. I said, I'm going to tell you another a situation. When I was in, a young and in my teens, I would not move. I thought that was the most ridiculous thing because, you know, I was full of my flesh. I was full of my, my uh, ego and full of, uh, of uh, you know, uh, guilt, you know, that I would make an outward manifestation to God. Uh, people are going to think I'm crazy. People are going to think I'm out there. I'm, I'm uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just doing this on my own. But I, I, when I, after I moved a couple times, and I saw what it would, how it worked, Hallelujah. how that God would come closer to me if I made a move toward yeah. Him. Yeah. How that He would, how would He would uh, begin to come? And and when I received the Holy Ghost. When I received the Holy Ghost that night, Brother Marlo, there on the platform of Woodrow, Illinois. Yes. I was laying there on the platform, and the Holy Ghost came upon me. I began to lift my hand. And you know when I began to feel that? I didn't care who saw me. I didn't care who said, who said what about me. But I knew what I was feeling was something that was supernatural. That it wasn't the typical thing that I had felt up until that point. You yeah. see, when I began to move in that, Brother Don, yeah. 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 The, the Lord, I had a vision of the Amen. Lord, and he was uh, he was just white as he could be. Yeah. It was, I mean, I'd never seen a white so bright, and it just kept coming closer yeah. and closer yeah. and closer. Yeah. 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 What an experience. Yeah. And, and see, yeah. are we going to let our flesh cheat us yeah. out of those experiences? Oh, no, no. We have to move out in yeah. the God. You're not, you're not, I tell the church at home, I said, you're not going to scare me if you holler out. No. You're not going to, you're not going to frighten me. You're not going to uh, scare me if you run around the building. Amen. But uh, Amen. I thought, I want to see that manifestation Amen. of, Amen. of, of the, the word of God. That, he just God. Comes, that if we will just worship and praise the Lord, Amen. he will meet us halfway. Amen. He will come to us. Amen. See, when I came to him, Amen. he came to me. Amen. And I began to have that vision of him. Amen. I didn't see his face, but I knew it was the Lord. Oh. I knew it was the presence of the Lord because it was so strong on me. Uh, Brother Butch said it was just, it, it, it's, a, it's a supernatural feeling. It's a wonderful feeling. And I thought, oh God, I want more of it. I don't, I don't want to stop here. No. I, want, I, want to, I want to exercise this inward man Amen. where he's a muscle man, where he's a, a strong man from oh, inside yeah. Amen. and put Amen. off this old man, oh. put off these things that keep me from Amen. coming and getting my touch of the Amen. And I was thinking that uh, Amen. here tonight, if, uh, if you need something, if you need a touch in your life, if the, if the flesh has you discouraged, Amen. If your outward man is telling you no, don't move. If your outward man is saying the Lord won't, uh, the Lord won't uh, move in on you that way. Let me tell you something. 
That devil is a liar. Amen. Amen. He lied from the beginning, yes. and he's still lying with us today. Amen. And, but I like today, and I, I feel this in my spirit right now, Brother Martin, yes. that if we would just turn loose. Amen. They, if, you, don't have to, you don't have to do cartwheels or anything. Do what the Lord asks you to do. Yes. Amen. That's all you have to do. And to feel that experience in God. Amen. Why would you why would you not? Why do we come and set for our own our our own hour? And uh, you see, the Holy Ghost was here a while ago when the choir was singing. I felt the Lord. I felt the Lord when Brother Marlowe was up preaching and ministering. I felt the Lord when all the singers were singing. But see, we just sat. But why don't we just lift up our hands oh, and get our minds on the Lord. Oh, God, come in this place tonight. Oh, God, let your presence come in this place. Let it bless your people. Let it heal your people, Lord. Oh, God, if there's, a, if there's a, a, something that's bothering the people, if there's something that's taking you away from God, let these brethren lay hands on you. Let these brethren, because they have Jesus. gifts, they can use their gifts if they use them in the Holy Ghost. See? That Holy Ghost will come through them and work to His people. Amen. Uh, I understand Amen. Sister Teresa is talking about the shepherd. Yeah. See? They, uh, Sister Marlowe must have had a meeting Hallelujah. about the shepherd. <laughs> There's people that God uses. The Lord just doesn't always uh, come down and, uh, and, and touch an individual. He has <coughs> gifts in the church that He works through. When those gifts begin to work and begin to pray, see, uh, the apostles laid hands on them, didn't they? But it was through that Holy Ghost, through their gift, healed the people. But they had an understanding. They had a they had a, 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 a intract on the word of, on the on the Spirit of God that when they laid hands on the people, that it was coming through God through them into the people. See, God uses people. God uses men. God uses women. Yeah. But through your gifts, let's use it. See, we haven't used it at the fullest extent. We need to use our gifts. Use, our, you know, use our abilities that God has given. And I think when we do that, Brother Marl, then the church will come to a change. Amen. The church will begin to change. Amen. And see, when Brother Marl told me to get up here, I, I really didn't, uh, to be honest with you, I really didn't feel, you know, the Holy Ghost pressing on me. I felt an obligation because I'm, I'm you know, I come here, you know, from a, a you know, different church. But when he told me that, see, he's my father in the Lord. Amen. When he asked me to do something, I'm going to do it. Through his gift that I have got up here, now I feel God. Amen. I feel the Lord. Yes. Now I'm, if you're obedient, if you Amen. obey then the Holy Ghost does work. Amen. And I want to be in order. Amen. I don't want to be out of order. Amen. But uh, I want to be in order. Amen. I want to, I don't want to be out of order in the church. Amen. Amen. And I don't want to be out of order in the church in Amen. Chattanooga. Amen. Or the church over here or there and Macon, wherever Amen. I am. Yeah. I want to be in God's order. Amen. But I also don't want to step back and not be in God's order. Amen, brother. Right. And, and, and uh, let my flesh cheat me out of uh, what the Amen. Lord is doing for me. Amen. So let's don't let us uh, don't let it let's don't cheat ourselves out of a blessing. Amen. I think God is dealing with somebody Amen. here tonight. Amen. I feel Amen. it in my spirit that there's somebody Amen. here that needs a touch from the Lord. Amen. Don't be discouraged. Amen. Don't back off. And, and don't say, oh, I'm just Amen. it's just another Sunday night, sir. This may be your night. Amen, Amen. brother. This may be your night to overcome Amen. something Amen. that you have fought all Amen. your Amen. life with. Amen. There might be something in your spirit that, uh, you know, there's lifelong uh, problems in people. And, but there's, a, there's something in a human being that will say, this is not God. But I thought, oh, God, when you feel that presence, Amen, brother. when you feel that Holy Ghost, Amen. you can't tell me that it's not God. And I feel him here tonight. Amen. Let's just turn loose and have it. Amen. 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 Amen.